Hello and welcome to this Adobe Express lesson all about the rainforest. And what we're gonna to do today is create a graphic which presents the four layers of the rainforest and the different animals that live in each of those layers. So to start with, I'm gonna press the plus in the top left and I'm just gonna to go to a landscape. Now there's four rainforest layers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with four shapes or four rectangles. And these are gonna be the different areas or different layers of the rainforest. So to start with, I'm gonna to go to elements and I'm gonna to go to shapes and I'm just gonna grab this rectangle. Now this is gonna be my forest floor layer. So I'm just gonna drag it to the bottom of my page and I'm just gonna extend it by dragging this little bar on the side of the rectangle here. Now I wanna choose colors that kind of fit in with a the rainforest theme. So I'm gonna select on the shape here and I'm gonna to go to fill. Now it's currently on black, but I'm gonna to go to custom and I'm gonna find a color uh, that I think would be suitable. So I want quite a natural looking green. There we go, I think that looks quite good. Um, I mean, what I might also do is just reduce the opacity a bit because this is a background element. I don't want it to stand out too much. So I might just reduce the opacity uh, so it's a bit sort of faded. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a second rectangle uh, and I'm gonna make this one a different shade of green. And this is gonna be the understory layer. And now I'll add a couple more rectangles uh, for the canopy layer and the emergent layer. There we go, we can play around with those a bit later, but these are gonna be our four rainforest layers. Now a good little tip here is, uh, when you've got an element that you're probably not going to be editing or changing very much, you can lock that layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, go to the outside of my page and I'm gonna click and drag to highlight all four of these layers. Um, and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna select lock. Now, as you can see now, I'm unable to move these layers. I can unlock them later if I want to change their position at all. So what I wanna do now is I wanna create a rainforest scene. So I can start with some trees and some shrubs and then I'm going and I'll add some animals. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start with the forest floor. So obviously this is where the least light gets to. Uh, this is where we're gonna have a layer of soil and some shrubs. And then we'll add in a few organisms or animals that live uh, on this bottom layer. So I'm just gonna to go to media, photos, and I'm just gonna type in soil because I want a nice soil layer along the bottom of my page here. Uh, this one might work quite well. So here we go, I've added my soil here. Now I want to remove this white background. So I'm just gonna select the image here and I'm gonna press this uh, happy looking dog image, press remove background. So there we go, it's removed the background. I can now place it on the bottom here. And I want a layer of soil that goes along the whole of the forest floor. Uh, so I'm just gonna duplicate this layer by pressing duplicate. Uh, and I'm just gonna duplicate it and keep building up my soil layers along the bottom. So now what I wanna do along the bottom of the forest floor um, is to add some shrubs and some plants that you would find in this area of the rainforest or this layer of the rainforest. So I'm just gonna go into elements uh, and I'm gonna go to the search bar and I'm gonna search for shrub. And uh, now what I can do is if I find one that I think looks suitable, I can just uh, click it and it will appear on my page and I can just click it and reduce the size of it. So there we go, I've got some shrubs and plants, that forest floor is looking pretty good. Now what I wanna do is do a similar thing, but I want to add some trees now. So instead of shrub, uh, I'm gonna search for tree. This one looks pretty good, so I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna drag it onto my page and I'm gonna put it down here. So once you've got a variety of trees, um, obviously what you're trying to do is you're trying to represent the different layers. So obviously we've got the forest floor here. Uh, this next layer, this light green layer, this is the understory layer. Uh, so this is where you find things like tree frogs and snakes. So we want some low branches and things that we can put those animals onto. Uh, then obviously we have the canopy layer. So this is where there's a thick layer of trees and they all come together to create this big sort of web of branches and leaves where a lot of rainforest life lives, things like monkeys um, and toucans. Now obviously for the final, the top layer, the emergent layer, we, uh, we just want a few trees emerging out of the canopy. So for now, I'm gonna start from the top. Uh, we're gonna to add some organisms. We're gonna add some animals into our rainforest layer scene here. So I'm actually gonna start at the top now. I'm gonna start at the emergent layer. Uh, and for this, I'm gonna to go to media. You could use design assets if you want. You don't have to have realistic looking animals if you don't want. You could have a more cartoony feel. Uh, be creative, it's totally up to you. Um, I've had a play around. I'm gonna to go to media and I'm actually gonna use some photos. So I'm on media photos. I'm just gonna go for search uh, and I'm gonna go for parrot. Uh, this one looks pretty good. Uh, I might click this one, select this one. And as you can see, it's got the background, but we can press this remove background button uh, and that will get rid of that background for us. So what we wanna make sure we're doing is thinking about just like the layers of the rainforest. Um, with our image, it's all about layers. So for example, I might want this parrot uh, 
behind this tree here. So I could right click it and I could say send backwards. Uh, that's done a pretty good job. It was only one layer it needs to go back. Or you can drag your uh, parrot to the different layers around here until you find the right space for it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna populate my scene with the different animals that exist in the different rainforest layers. So there we go, I think that's looking pretty good. I've added some mushrooms in the forest floor layer as well. Obviously they're decomposers. They're an important part of the ecosystem, so I've included them here. Um, it's the last thing to do is to label my layers and then put a title on this. So I'm just gonna to go to text. I'm gonna to go to add your text and I'm gonna type in emergent layer. I'm not going to play with the font now, I'm just going to get it onto my page. Now what I might want to do though, um, is I want layer to be underneath the word emergent. So I'm just going to reduce the size of the text box um, by dragging this little bar here. Not the circles in the corner, but this little bar and it will make it pop underneath. Now at the moment, the alignment of this text is centered. What I want to do is I want to align it left. So if I've got this bit of text selected, I'm going to go to alignment over here and I'm gonna press align left. Uh, and now to reduce the size of it, I can grab the corner of the text box, just put it where I think it's gonna look good. Uh, and now I might just duplicate it and then edit each of these, especially as the word layer is gonna be included uh, on each of my titles here. So there you go, I've added my titles. Now what I might want to do is, uh, I'm gonna select all of these. I'm gonna hold down shift on my keyboard and select them all. You don't have to do that. You could just change the font on each one individually if you prefer. Um, and I'm just gonna go to my fonts here and I'm gonna see if I can find uh, something that'll look good. I think Economica looks quite nice. Um, so I might just play around with the positioning of them uh, and then I'll see how we are looking. So there we go, I've had a play around with the titles, made them the same size, um, decided to get rid of the word layer from forest floor. I think forest floor is enough. Um, I'm pretty happy with the, how this is looking, but I just want one final title just to stand out, pop out the page to tell us that this is a rainforest layers diagram. So what I'm gonna do is I could just add some text, that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go to elements actually, and I'm just gonna uh, type in paint because I kind of want a paint splodge um, that might look quite good to have the text on top of. I think this looks pretty good. Uh, I'm just gonna drag this up into the top. Um, it's just a bit of a design thing, really. You could add anything you want. Uh, I'm just gonna add an effect to it. So I might just get a nice kind of, I think that's a pretty nice color there, fits in with our rainforest theme. Um, it's just something to put the text on so it stands out. You could use other things like a shadow or an outline, but I'm gonna use this paint splodge. I'm gonna go to text. Uh, I'm gonna go to add your text, and I'm gonna type in rainforest layers. There we go. Again, you might remember if we want the word layers to be underneath rainforest, we grab this little bar uh, on the side of our text box. Uh, centered might work for this. We'll have a little look. I'll just reduce the size. I'll just move it. There we go. Uh, I might want a different font for this. It's kind of a title, so I might go to some recommended fonts and see what comes up. Might play around with some of those. There we go. I think that's pretty nice. Uh, I could play around with adding like a shadow or a shape on it if I wanted to. See how that looks. Yeah, a little shadow on there looks quite nice. Um, and there we go, there's our rainforest layers diagram. So we've got uh, our shrubs and our forest floor. We've got our dirt along the bottom. Um, in our understory layer, we've put some snakes. We've got a tree frog popping up here, climbing up a branch. And then we have our canopy layer. This is where uh, animals like monkeys and toucans spend their time. And then we have the emergent layer at the top where the trees are emerging out of the canopy. And we find animals like uh, birds, parrots, butterflies and bats. Once we're finished, uh, we can just download this as an image file. We can press download. Uh, you can give your work a title in the top left here. Uh, we're gonna download a PNG. We're gonna press download and that's done already. Uh, and if you wanna share this with anyone, uh, if I press share, you could share it via Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams maybe. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna press publish to the web and I'm gonna press publish link and you see at the bottom it says it's publishing my design. There you go, we've been told our link is ready. So I'm just gonna press this button here that says copy link. I'm gonna open a new tab in my web browser. I'm just gonna paste that link in there and we can see this link takes us to our rainforest layers graphic. So now it's your turn to build your own rainforest with the four different rainforest layers.